Hey there, Mercedes here from prettywebs.com and today I'm going to show you how to make a shimmering rose gold text effect inside of Photoshop. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start off today with a new document inside of Photoshop. Our width is going to be 1000 pixels and our height is going to be 675 pixels. We're using 72 resolution RGB mode. Go ahead and click create. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and unlock my background and I'm gonna double click right here on the far right hand side to bring up my layer styles for this. I'm just gonna go ahead and add a gradient really quickly. So we're adding a gradient overlay. Our blend mode is normal, our opacity 100%. Style is radial and our angle is 90 degrees. We're gonna scale this to 150%. Now let's take a look at the actual gradient itself. For this gradient, the very first color stop is gonna be 4A4A46. And that's going to be at location zero. And then we have the other, which is going to be at location 100. And that color is 28, 29, 29. We'll click OK. So that's the setup for the gradient. And I'm just going to click OK. And we're going to go ahead and add a new layer. So we'll come down here to this little plus icon. And we've just added a new layer. We're going to go ahead and fill it with the whatever color. It doesn't even matter. Command and delete on a Mac control and backspace on a PC to get that layer fill. And we're just gonna double click over here on the far right hand side. This time we're adding a pattern overlay. For our pattern overlay, our blend mode is gonna be soft light. And I know right now all you're seeing is just the white. We'll make some adjustments here in a little bit, but for now let's go ahead and get this taken care of. So we've got our blend mode at soft light, opacity 100%. Our pattern is gonna be this one, it's called Black Weave. So if you come over here to uh, Legacy Patterns and more, if you're in Photoshop 2020, you will we'll be using these Legacy Patterns and more. If you don't see those here, if you haven't loaded them, you can come over here to Window and then go to Patterns. And inside of Patterns, you'll just come over here to this little hamburger menu and Legacy Patterns and more are right here. That will load those in for you if you don't already have them. For anybody in an older version of Photoshop, we're gonna be using these patterns right here. So you'll see all of this stuff right here, texture, texture fill two patterns, nature patterns, all of this stuff right here in this little gear icon. When uh, this fly out menu comes out, you'll see all of the stuff that we see here. You're gonna see all of that here. So you can load them from this menu. And for this one, we're going to be using grayscale paper, and we're using this very first one. This is called Black Weave. And our scale for this is 50%. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And now we're going to change the fill to zero. That way, we're only looking at the pattern itself, and then we have that spotlight effect on the back as well. Okay, once we have our background down, we're gonna go ahead and add some text. I'm gonna come over here to the text tool. I'm gonna type out the word rose. Let me come over here to the character panel so we can take a look at the settings for this font. If you don't see that here, you can come up to window character and that's gonna come up for you. We're using a font called Henny Penny. It's a free font, it's free for commercial use. So if you need it for marketing or anything like that, it's a Really nice whimsical font. Um, and I'll go ahead and leave a link in the description for this. So this font is called Henny Penny Regular. And the size, uh, we're gonna do 336 pixels. Let me bring that over here. And the color for this is gonna be BE7676. I'm gonna click OK. So that's pretty much it for the for this uh, base text. I'm gonna go ahead and center this really quickly. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and make three copies of this text layer. So I'm gonna right click, duplicate layer, and duplicate this again. I'm just right clicking on the layer itself. Okay, so we have rows, rows two and rows three. We're gonna start with rows, uh, the very first rows. So I'm gonna go ahead and double click right here on the far right hand side. Again, we're gonna be working in layer styles. Let me move this over so we can see what we're doing. 
All right, for this very first, the top layer, we're gonna choose a bevel and emboss. We're gonna be using an inner bevel. Our technique is chisel hard. Our depth is gonna be 100%. Our direction is up. Size is 10 pixels, soften zero. Our angle is 120 degrees and our altitude is gonna be 30. We're using just a basic linear contour for this. And for our highlight mode, we're using multiply. The color for that is gonna be FFE 2E2. Opacity 75%. Shadow mode is multiply. Our color for the shadow is gonna be 540606. And our opacity is gonna be 75% for that. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the contour. For the contour, we're gonna be using steps. So we'll kind of come through here. Um, and if you, if you don't see these, these should be in there, uh, but just in case they're not, you'll have to come over here to this little gear icon and choose contours to load in the contours. So if you've never loaded these in, go ahead and load those in and you should see this one right here. It's called steps. We're gonna be using that one and our range is gonna be 50%. Next, we're gonna choose inner glow. And if there's something here that you don't see, you can come over here to the, to the effects menu and all of the rest of them will be down there. So if they're not showing up here, they're gonna be down here, but we're gonna be using inner glow and our settings for this are gonna be, the blend mode is vivid light. Opacity is gonna be 75%. Our noise is gonna be 25%. Our color is gonna be E6D0D0. Our technique is softer. Our source is the center. Choke is zero. Our size is 16. Our contour is just a basic linear contour. Range is 50%, jitter zero. And now we'll move on to pattern overlay. Okay, for our pattern, we're gonna be using blend mode soft light. Opacity is gonna be 100% and our pattern is this. We're gonna be using the same set of patterns, the grayscale paper. Again, that's in legacy patterns. And we're gonna be choosing um, this one right here. This is called craft paper. And our scale for this is gonna be 100%. All right, we're gonna go ahead and add a drop shadow as well. So for our drop shadow, we're using linear burn. Our color is 262626. Our opacity is 75%. Our distance is five pixels, spread zero pixels, size five pixels regular contour and that's it for this first layer style. So we're gonna click OK. Now we're gonna to come to this second uh, text layer. We're gonna double click on the far right hand side to bring up the layer styles for that. Okay, for this rose two, which is gonna be our middle layer, we're gonna choose bevel and emboss. Our style is gonna be outer bevel. Our technique is chisel hard. Our depth is gonna be 100%, direction is up. Size 16, soften zero, angle 120, altitude 30 degrees. Our gloss contour is gonna be ring. So let's go through here and find that one. And then for our highlight mode, we are using linear light. And our color for this is F, D, 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 D. Opacity is gonna be 50%. Now our shadow mode uh, is gonna be multiply. We'll go ahead and leave that there. And our color for this one is gonna be 450D0D. And our opacity for this is 75%. All right, next we'll go ahead and add a contour. And for the contour, we're gonna use rounded steps. So I've got rounded slope. There you are, rounded steps um, is gonna be our contour and uh, our range is 50% for that. 
Next, we're gonna go ahead and add a stroke. So I'm gonna come down here to my effects and choose stroke. The settings for the stroke are gonna be uh, size 16 pixels. Our position is gonna be on the outside. Our blend mode is normal, our opacity 100%. And our fill type is gonna be gradient. Style is linear. We're gonna align with layer. Our angle is gonna be 90 degrees. Our scale is 100%. Let's come in here to the gradient so we can set that up. All right, we're using two different colors for this gradient, but we're gonna use it at different stops. So we're gonna double click on this first stop to bring up our color picker menu. The color we're gonna use here is 6C2E16, and we'll click OK. And then our other color will double click to open up the color stop for that one. And the color for this is gonna be FCA4A4 and we'll click OK. So what we're gonna do is just click on this first color stop and then click anywhere here so that you can drag out another one. So that's just gonna create another color stop. For this one, our location is gonna be at 30%. We're gonna make another one and the position for this is gonna be at 65%. And then we're gonna move this over. Make sure that this is checked and then we'll just click over here. So our location is gonna be 100%. So we have this dark color at 0%, 30%, 65%, and 100%. Now we're gonna to come to the lighter color. Go ahead and click on that and then just click along that line. For the location on this, we want this at 15%. The next one we want at 50%. And then the next one is gonna be at 80%. So you can tell that here at the location percentage. So this is what our gradient is gonna look like. It looks really complicated, but really it's just two colors and then you know placed in different locations. So I'm gonna click OK. Now we're gonna come over here to layer number three. With this layer chosen, the bottom layer, we're gonna double click here. We're gonna choose Drop Shadow. Our uh, blend mode is Linear Burn. Our color is 262626. Opacity 40%. Angle is gonna be 120 degrees. Distance here is 25 pixels. Our spread is zero and our size is 20 pixels. And that's just gonna give us a little bit of dimension here underneath. Now we'll go ahead and click OK. Now you have a shimmering rose gold text effect. If you like this video, make sure to like, share, and subscribe to this channel and visit prettywebs.com for more design resources and tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching.